This year's favourite is Phil Reed, 17 years on from his first win here. Five times world champion and last year's Formula One winner, Phil's recent experience must give him the edge today in a race where knowledge of the circuit counts for so much. The big question about Mike's chance is whether he can make good what is forgotten in 11 years away from racing on the island. I came out to Europe a month in advance, made all the machines that I was going to ride in the island, went to various tracks around England and did days and days and days of testing, riding all the bikes, finding out how they all worked. Uh, unfortunately, time did run out, but, we, you know, we achieved quite a lot. Uh, but, of course, riding around short circuits is not quite the same as riding around the Isle of Man. From the start line, Mike shows he's in a class of his own. It's a fairy tale comeback by the greatest road racer of all time. By the end of lap one, Mike is leading the race on corrected time by nine seconds from Tom Heron, number 18. And he's a full 20 seconds ahead of Phil Reed on number one. An hour into the race, and with a pit stop for fuel, Mike has made up three minutes on Phil Reed, and the two are scrapping for the lead on the road, though Halewood has an unassailable time lead. Tom Heron has broken down, and John Williams, Helmut Dana, and Ian Richards are fighting for the minor placings. Up in front, it's a duel between number 12 and number one at 110 miles an hour average between the two veteran world champions. Phil Reed is redlining his engine in an effort to stay with Mike on the road. Eventually, it gives way. Mike Halewood is on his own in every respect. Minutes clear of the field and the crowd is delirious. Well, they did something that I'd never seen them do before, right from the very first corner, right through all the laps and every lap, every corner, they were all cheering and waving programs and it was just fantastic. And going through one of the parts of the course, a place called Ramsey, which is very slow, I could actually hear the people cheering in the, by the side of the road, which was just amazing. And, you know, the enthusiasm and the, everything like that was just overwhelming. <laughs> Mike Halewood came to the Isle of Man in 1978, a nine times world champion and 12 times TT winner on this, the toughest track in the world. He had nothing to prove to anyone. He decided to return as something to relieve the tedium of a nine to five job. It started out as simply as that. Publicity and sponsorship and the interest of millions of fans worldwide turned it into something much more for him. Perhaps even his greatest achievement. Uh, when I won the first one, you know, it was a, it was a surprise, of course, and great delight. But of course, when I was younger and uh, just passed off, it was one of those things, you know, obviously we were very pleased. But this time, you know, everybody had pinned so much hope and faith and money and effort into the whole programme, and uh, it was just fantastic. I really never felt like it in my life. <laughs> 